Hey everybody, welcome to another video on the electronic drum set build and uh, now I've already received parts, I have here jack connectors that I'm gonna be using, these are uh, small ones, I chose small ones, 3.5 I think, I got bolts and nuts I bought these yesterday and I got these are the things I'm gonna be using as drum lugs so these will go more or less like this and then the bolt well, just give me a moment and I'll show you and then the bolt will go through Yep, these will go more or less like this, and then the bolts will go through. And uh, hopefully, this will hold the drum hook in place. So, uh, let me get a 12 inch hook and a, a drum head and show you how it goes. Okay. Right now I have here a 12 inch drum head, I have a 12 inch drum pad, pretty much assembled and glued, and uh, I'll put the head here, I'll put the hook, and uh, let me see, now to fit these ones, Having this in place, let me change the camera so that you can see it. Now I'm not sure if you can see, but maybe there's not too much light, but that's what, what I have around here. So, we have the drum head, we have the drum head fitted to this. And, uh, we will simply attach these like this with a bolt and a nut. Let me get a nut for all the nuts. They're here. They're here. So, these are gonna go these are gonna go more or less like this all around I'm gonna put them like this these are gonna be attached to the frame and then I'm gonna have these ones pulling from above all around and uh, that's how I'm going to install the drum heads here. So, all I'm going to do now is put some marks all around for me to know for me to know where these are going to go. So, I'm going to have one here. I got to do all other six. These are, this is a, a five bolt, it's, it's a five bolt drum head, so I'm gonna go here on this side. this and I'm gonna have another one about 
here. So I'm marking the top with this. And then I'll simply drill some holes. I'll mark these. Uh, I'll mark here where they are. And uh, then I know where, where I have to drill. one try to do this on camera go and a nut and this will be pretty much the same process for everything all around One's gonna go that one's gonna go there. And I still still have another two to make. And these bolts were cheap. These were like 60 bolts, 2 euros. And um, go on. So this one is pretty much in place as well. I'll do the markings for that one. Yeah, I got some markings there. And now for the last one. Okay, so I've managed to put the marks around here where I have to drill the holes. Now all I have to do is to drill the holes and get the clamps, the, the locks in place. Okay. assembled here around. There's just one missing. This one, the last one. And uh, I'll try and show you with a better view. Okay. All around we all we have most of the lugs in place. There's just one missing, which is this one. We'll do it right now. So we have here the mark. We're gonna First, we're gonna drill a a pilot hole. Oh, then I gotta put it stronger. Yeah, it was not strong enough. Then we're gonna enlarge the hole with this, make it bigger to fit the bolt. Yep, that's it. And right now, 
Let me remove this. And remember that for this pad, this is the last one. So, I'm gonna fit this here. Some of these go first time they go in, they go tight, so I have to put it with this, then put it through the hole and uh, put a nut on the back, on the inside. And then we're gonna tight that down. Oh, but we're gonna make sure that, that this is in, in place. And we're gonna tight this a bit down. Let's put this one. Let's put this one first to to help keep it in place. Put the nut. And uh, with a wrench. I'm going to pull this one into place. Okay. Now this one is in place. We'll tighten down the other one inside. We'll tighten it as much as we can. And these, all of these, they have, they have these two. Not sure if you can see these two little things that these clamp and the PVC and avoid it from spinning around which is very very good okay and now that's it we don't need to type that anymore and here we have one drum pad assembled see it looks. Of course, this drum head will be changed. I'll be using a mesh head, but this is a 12. Here you can see the glue. I still have to trim these out. I have to trim these ones. And then, of course, when I put the new drum head, then I'll have to stretch it a little bit with a wrench like this. No problem because this is uh, this is uh, something that. You won't need to tune it that much, you'll just like uh, stretch it a little bit and then yeah, that's uh, that's how it goes. 12 inch tom is done. Say a drum pad for the electronic drum set. Then the inside will be a lot stronger once I have the the wood from here to here holding the piezo. I'm gonna put a strap of wood like this, I'm gonna be like crossed around holding the piezo against the mesh head. This will become even stronger. Yeah, but I think that this is pretty good. Huh? I'm pretty happy with the result and these work just fine. Amazing. Very, very, very good. Then I'll paint this and uh, I think I'll be able to build a nice electronic drum kit. See you next video. If you like it. And if you like it, please click like and subscribe. Okay? See ya.